Hello everyone, welcome to my channel. In today's video, we will be creating a quick drawing of a cityscape scene using Ohuhu markers. I will start by covering some basic forms and shading techniques. Don't worry if you have never drawn a cityscape scene before. This tutorial is very easy to follow along with. Thank you to Ohuhu Markers for sponsoring this video and providing the markers. In this video, I will be using the set of illustration tones from Ohuhu color series. You can find the discount code and product link in the description. To start, let's practice drawing a single building. First, draw a rectangle, then draw another side to either the left or the right of the rectangle. When the light source is from the upper left, simply add shadows to the right side. I won't get too technical in this tutorial, but if you want to learn more about using two-point perspective to draw more accurately, I have another tutorial for you, link in the upper right corner. Keep in mind that when we are viewing a building from a very far distance, the linear perspective may not be very noticeable. For this drawing, we will estimate everything by eyes, rather than trying to be precise. Once you can draw these basic cuboids, you can draw small rectangles on each side to transform it into a high-rise building. The smaller the windows you draw, the taller the building will appear. Make sure to keep the trees very small in this drawing to show the building's height. To draw trees, we can start with a basic sphere form. If you have watched my other tutorials, you know the process. For this drawing, we will keep it very very simple and just use some scribble lines. To color the water, we will use snake-like lines, and for the sky, we will use small curved strokes. Let's start our drawing. Use a pencil to roughly sketch out the cuboids one by one, making sure to vary their height, width, and orientation. Don't worry about details yet, just focus on drawing the cuboids. Overlapping them is very important in creating depths in your drawing. Next, you can draw some small trees around the cuboids. These trees are not actually small, they just appear shorter compared to the high-rise buildings. You don't need to draw too many trees in the foreground. Keep it simple. The more you draw, the harder it becomes to create depths because you will need to draw more shadows. you can add tiny rectangles and building details on each cuboid. For buildings on the far side, you can simply draw some decorative horizontal lines and skip the window part. 
because the focal point is at the center of the drawing. After your pencil sketch is complete, you can use a pen to go over all the outlines. My drawing size is very small, so it's easier to draw straight lines by using my wrist as a pivot point. If your drawing is much bigger, you may need to use your elbow as a pivot point to draw long straight lines. Don't worry about being precise with your line work. It doesn't have to be perfect.
it's time for the coloring part. To begin, use a yellow color to show the direction of the sunlight. In this case, it's from the left. For this drawing, we won't be using many colors. The goal is to demonstrate that you can still create a nice drawing even when you don't have many marker colors. Use a medium shade of grey to add darker values on the shadow side of each building. As you can see, it immediately adds depth to the drawing. When coloring trees, I like to leave the upper edge white as a highlight. If we fill in too many colors on each tree, it might look too heavy. In my other tutorials, I have talked about it's nice to have at least three shades of green colors to color the trees. Here I will use three shades of purple. The reflection on water can be very complicated, so to simplify it, we will use a blue color to draw some snake-like lines to mimic the water waves. Add more darker values in the shadow area to increase contrast. Technically, whatever colors on the building and trees will be reflected in the water. So add colors to the water accordingly. But there is no need to be precise since we are not trying to create a realistic drawing. You can totally color each building with different colors you like. Here I'm creating a more generic and cohesive look. This is pretty much the final look of the drawing. From here, you can add some small details if you like. It doesn't take very long to do this drawing. Thank you so much for watching. I will see you in the next video.